Now, I've mentioned that in the past when I did a Toyota rebuild differential video on this channel, and people asked where I got that information, and I actually got that information of an old book that I've had for years. It's uh, from Randy Lyman. That's Randy from The Randy's Ring and Pinion, and he was the one who first put that out there that you could actually measure backlash that way, and I verified it. I took a Toyota differential. I was able to get my 90 degree dial indicator in on the ring gear, and I was able to measure it and then compare it to the measurement on the yoke, and they were within spec. You gotta remember, backlash, it's, a, it's basically a sliding scale, right? It's between six and 10 thousandths of an inch. So if you measured it and did the math and ended up with seven, but the actual number was six, it's no big deal because you're inside that spec for that backlash. And in all honesty, once you've done enough differentials, backlash is something that you can just tell more by the sound it makes than by the feel with your hand. Once you've done a few hundred diffs, you'll be able to just grab the ring gear, rock it back and forth. It's always good to verify it, but once you hear the sound of proper backlash, you kind of never forget it. So at this point, I'm happy with my backlash. I'm happy with my gear tooth pattern. Now it's time to fold.